Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. That's him right there. Hey, YouTube. Hey, I wanted to introduce myself to the Axis and Allies community. My name is Lieutenant Dan, and I live just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. I also wanted to take this time to share with you uh, regarding a project I started back in May of 2018. The project involved adding World War II details to Sire Blood's BBR map. When I downloaded that into Photoshop, I was just in, I was in awe of the amount of detail that he put into that. And I got to thinking of, you know, how cool would it be to see if I could add even more World War II information to make the game board more like a, like a historical map. So I went back all the way to July uh, 1937 when the uh, uh, second Sino-Japanese-Chinese War began. And I read month by month all the way through to the end of the World War II of uh, September of 1945, uh, detailing out where specific battles took place, the cities that were captured and so on, as well as um, where a lot of massacres took place to include all the concentration and extermination camps uh, developed by the Nazi war machine. Um, I also included things like uh, where uh, uh, ships were sunk um, and other details, but my main idea or my main goal was not to overtake the gameplay with all this additional information. Um, I just wanted to really have, uh, to, to make it like background information while you're playing the game. So a big thank you to Sire Blood for inspiring me uh, for this past year or so. Um, learning new things, uh, learning about history and uh, things like that. And, and he's also inspired me to do other projects that I hope to share with you uh, in the future. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the map. All right, guys, here I am in the basement. Got the map printed out. Um, I, I have it uh, temporarily put on this platform. I'm in process of making a custom table. Uh, the map that I printed out is uh, 85 by 39. So I want it to be, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than the out of the box, uh, but not quite as large as uh, some of you uh, have printed your maps out. But I uh, thought it was a nice happy medium. But um, what I wanted to do is not uh, go over all the details of the map here. I'm gonna do that in Photoshop for you guys, but just kind of give you a, a flyby of you know, some of the detail that I've added, just kind of a quick, um, you can start seeing some of the details as I'm zooming in, looking at uh, submarine activity, uh, east coast of US, all of the Europe detail that I put in of battles, um, and then in the Mediterranean, a lot of naval battles going on there. I'm gonna get into more details uh, later, but I thought it'd be nice to kind of show you the a live version of the map. You'll probably see uh, other details that I I'll, I'll probably forget that I added, but uh, that might be different from uh, the version uh, that you have uh, where I've added islands and different land masses that uh, were not called out in the, uh, the out of the box uh, map board game and or uh, the BBR map. All right, I think that's uh, pretty much it. I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and show you guys uh, what it looks like inside of uh, Photoshop. All 
All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the legend so you can see all of the uh, different symbols to look out for when I'm flying around on the map here. Um, just got to pan over. So what, I, what I've done for the last, what, year or so is, uh, you know, I looked at the, I tried to get all the capital cities, um, whether they were part of the war or not, but I just wanted to kind of have uh, the capital cities at that time uh, showing on all the countries. And then uh, the uh, the city and or location is just really where battles took place. Um, you know, maybe a city got bombed or something like that during an air, air raid. Um, war relocation centers are, um, if you recall, uh, Sire Blood has uh, uh, one item shown uh, just south of San Francisco. I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of break that out and, and show where all the uh, uh, centers were located um, throughout uh, the U.S. And then we have the uh, the concentration extermination camps and then the, uh, the massacre symbol. So uh, the massacre symbol, uh, you know, typically was, uh, you know, when I was reading things, it, it wasn't like, uh, you know, 10 people died or 20 people, although, albeit that, that is a massacre in its in its in its own right, but uh, but I'm, I'm talking like uh, you know hundreds, uh, thousands, uh, tens of thousands, even up to a hundred thousand people died um, just in in one spot. I thought that was uh, you know kind of interesting. Um, you know, there's seventy to eighty million people died uh, throughout uh, World War II, so. And then you see uh, some other columns here. I have uh, the ships sunk by submarines from these countries. So you'll see that uh, these 10 countries, um, I actually uh, documented like over 5,600 uh, data points on the map that shows where these countries were sinking ships uh, with their submarines. So you're going to get, uh, it's pretty eye-opening when you see all the U-boat activity and, uh, you know, the U.K. activity, Russia, even the U.S., uh, you know, uh, U.S., I think I plotted about 1,900 uh, data points in the Pacific. And uh, a few here and there, I think, in the Atlantic, but they're primarily in the uh, Pacific. And then uh, I had 180 or so um, naval ships. You know, these are the warships. So I didn't do everything. Um, I tried to get all the big big stuff. I didn't get into the destroyers, but um, um, I probably should do that uh, on my next uh, version. But um, but I did capture, um, you know, all the ships that were sunk throughout uh, World War II from cruisers and up. Um, even, uh, you know, capturing some of the old uh, World War I era uh, super dreadnoughts and dreadnought ships, um, you know, like the Arizona and, and things like that. All right, so um, all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go to different parts of the map here, just kind of show you what I did. All right, guys. So uh, what I thought I would do is start off in the upper left and kind of work my way uh, back and forth until I get to the Pacific side, just to kind of call out all the details, all the things that I had added to the map. So if we uh, take a look at this uh, section here. Um, you know, what's uh, pretty interesting, um, as I kind of noted uh, uh, previously, is, uh, you know, I, I, where I added about 5,800 uh, locations of where ships were sunk. And all these red dots that you see here are all of the U-boat activity uh, where they were sinking, like, cargo ships and passenger ships and things like that. Um, so let me just go ahead and zoom in here. Of the... 5,800 uh, ships that I've documented, about 2,800 of them were all from the German U-boats. Um, you can start seeing additional little green ones here. The, the Italian uh, submarines were in this area as well. Um, other things just from here, you can start seeing that I'm, I'm adding other details to the map, like islands that... Uh, we're not called out in the out of the box. Um, the only reason why I added them was just because they were mentioned um, throughout uh, my research. So I went ahead and just popped them in there. 
All right, go ahead and uh, zoom down just a little bit. <clears throat> you can also start seeing other uh, ships. Uh, here we have a, the courageous aircraft carrier uh, from the, the British Navy. Uh, we have the, uh, here's a light cruiser and an escort carrier that were sunk here. Okay, a lot of cities uh, being called out in the UK uh, uh, from all the air raids, uh, the German air raids, just bombings and things like that. <clears throat> One thing that I uh, was just really eye-opening to me was how close the U-boats got to the east coast of the U.S. I always thought of just, uh, you know, probably a handful. But look at all, look how close, you know, they were actually in the, in the channel um, up in uh, Canada. And as I kind of scroll down a little bit here, you're going to see, we're talking multiple hundreds uh, just off the coast of the U.S. And in a couple areas I noted, like Jacksonville and Cape Canaveral, um, especially uh, Jacksonville, uh, I recall, you know, they were just a couple miles off the coast sinking ships uh, down here in Miami and so on. Uh, even up in the Louisiana, up in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, <clears throat> here I had, uh, if you recall in the legend, here's uh, two uh, war relocation uh, centers. And then uh, I'm just calling out uh, other areas of uh, uh, minus, I guess, these down here. But... Um, the Oak Ridge is uh, one place where they started uh, uh, developing the, the, the bomb. Newport News is just a big shipyard. All right, go down here. You see in the Caribbean, they were very active uh, in this area. And I kind of, since I was uh, reading month by month of the, uh, as the war was progressing, I was noticing that uh, they, you know, they were spending a lot of time up in the up in the north um, or northern Atlantic, and then uh, once <clears throat> the uh, Allies started uh, fighting back and and getting uh, uh, protecting uh, cargo ships and things with trans uh, with uh, convoys, uh, they they just kind of moved around where the convoys were not, and this is uh, one area, so they started uh, sinking a ton of ships. Uh, coming out of uh, South America and the West Indies, or not the West Indies, but really just South America area. There's a lot of ships that uh, took off here, but they were sinking them as they were coming out of the uh, the ports there. Uh, you can also see I was adding, uh, I tried to add all the roundels for countries, regardless if they were part of the war or not. Um, I just thought it was interesting to have that uh, information. So those were the roundels that I could find uh, for that time period. Here's some more islands uh, that I added. Um, also, I added uh, some <clears throat> West Indies, uh, the West Indies islands here, most of them. All right, kind of go down here a little bit uh, more South America. Um, again, you can start seeing, uh, here's a light uh, cruiser uh, from the British Navy. Um, you got a lot more uh, activity with the uh, Italian submarine sinking uh, ships coming out of um, uh, Africa. Um, here's, uh, I think, one of the first, uh, it's a heavy cruiser um, that was uh, sunk as a German cruiser. I think they sunk it themselves. Germany did. All right, so we'll go back up, uh, going up the, uh, the coast of Africa here. Um, Get a little bit in the med, so you can start seeing I uh, plotted a bunch of the uh, the Africa uh, campaigns that were going on, different cities that were affected, and a lot of uh, naval warfare going on in the med. So here you can see, uh, if I kind of just scroll over a little bit, <clears throat> uh, different colored uh, dots uh, indicating uh, submarines uh, sinking other ships. So. Here's like the Netherlands, uh, uh, the Dutch Navy uh, sinking some ships. So the yellow is UK, green is Italy, 
and you can also start seeing other uh, roundels for uh, here's the Italian Navy uh, heavy cruisers that were sunk uh, where's four of them right here here's two light cruisers here um, you get some uh, UK ships in here a lot of activity you can see again uh, the red dots are they're pretty much everywhere um, even um, the uh, Greece had some submarines, so they were sinking uh, some some things. You can see some of their ships got sunk here, a couple battleships and so on. <clears throat> kind of going the up in uh, Italy, you can start seeing documenting where um, the Allies uh, uh, landed and uh, starting to fight uh, fight their way fight their way up into uh, Europe. Here's a lot of French ships that were sunk. This was interesting, uh, this uh, Pyrenees Mountains. It didn't really affect gameplay, so I didn't, I didn't feel that it, it hurt to add it. But, uh, <clears throat> but this Andorra, uh, they were actually still at war with Germany. I think it was a good six uh, years after the war had, uh, you know, had ended. So I just thought that was kind of an interesting fact. So I just put it in there. All right, so now we're going to get into uh, a lot of uh, the Europe area where I captured a lot of battles that took place. Uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of the uh, symbols that I had went over in the legend. Um, here's like a massacre that happened here. Here's another one. And again, um, you know, we're talking tens of thousands of people dying in one spot. And in other places, you know, it's even like up to 100,000 people. It's just really crazy um, looking at the amount of deaths uh, that happened. Uh, what, 70 to 80 million people died in, in World War II. Here's, uh, some, here's an extermination camp. Um, this is a uh, concentration camp. And if I kind of scroll over into Europe here, you can start seeing... Probably familiar uh, <clears throat> cities, uh, places that uh, where battles took place, like uh, Bastogne, the Ardennes, uh, the Hurken uh, uh, Forest, Hurchen, Hur Hurken. Um, just a lot of the initial battles uh, when uh, Germany rolled into uh, Belgium, started taking taking out things. I didn't uh, get all of the extermination uh, and concentration camps. There's just so many, but these were the bulk of them. I mean, there were there was a, a ton of them. So now we're getting into uh, see up in the um, Baltic Sea area. So you can see a lot of uh, UK submarines sinking uh, ships. Um, here's uh, some uh, German. Uh, heavy cruiser here, light cruiser, another cruiser. So a lot of uh, German ships were being sunk here. Um, this is the only uh, Poland uh, submarine that, that sunk uh, some ship. I just thought that was interesting that they were sinking or they're out there doing stuff. Uh, and then the, uh, the black uh, dots here, that's uh, the Russian submarines up in this area sinking you'll see a bunch of uh, Russian activity up here so a bunch of uh, Russian uh, submarines sinking some ships so you can see the u-boats or even uh, up in this area all right we'll pan over uh, we'll start getting into Russia here um, some of the major battles uh, A lot of massacres going on. Black Sea, the uh, the Russians were in uh, Black Sea. This was the only ship that I could see. Again, I didn't do uh, all ships. Um, I did basically from cruisers and up um, based on size. Uh, but this is the only... Uh, 
Russian ship that I could find that was uh, sunk. Keep on going down here. Get into uh, the Middle East. Um, you know, there were some uh, battles going on with the uh, UK coming in and uh, securing uh, oil fields and things like that so that the, uh, the Germans couldn't get to it. So a little bit of a uh, action going on there. Same with in, uh, in uh, Iraq. Now you can start seeing uh, some Japanese submarines. So <clears throat> this is about the farthest um, uh, that they got on this side of the map uh, that I found. So uh, up in here and right about here is where um, I documented that. You can also start, still start seeing, you know, the uh, the U-boats were still over here. Um, they got as far as uh, Australia, actually. Um, kind of keep on going down. A lot of uh, activity going on here uh, with uh, Italy. <clears throat> and so, again, you can s s see that, uh, you know, Japanese were, they got all the way down here. Italian submarines. All right, let's go over another uh, little bit and we'll continue to go up. So now we're getting into the Money Islands here, over here on the right. A um, lot more uh, Japanese activity, a um, lot of UK activity going on. You got the, the Dutch uh, or Netherlands uh, submarines. Uh, sinking things now you can start seeing um, these dots right here the uh, the US uh, submarines are starting to sink some things uh, with some call outs of some uh, UK here's a, a battle cruiser a battleship um, Japanese heavy cruisers light cruiser were sunk here uh, here's the uh, the Burma railway Here's the first time you've uh, seen this. A um, couple uh, things that I changed uh, from the the BBR map is uh, one is I thought it was interesting to you know add the uh, the Chinese uh, symbols for like this territory, you know, the Yunnan, Hunan, Sichuan, and and so on. And then I also changed the the Burma Road to make it look more like um, you know the real path. Um, I also added a, a few other uh, cities on here that weren't called out, but it's kind of hard to make the path realistic. You know, the, the map isn't to scale, and things are kind of out of out of whack a little bit. Uh, you know, the out-of-the-box uh, map that was uh, made, um, as you all know, is, isn't to scale. So anyway, I tried to, tried to do the best I could. Go ahead and keep on scrolling up. Um a lot of the uh, the cities here that you see are cities that happened, uh, you know, during the Second Sino Chinese or Japanese Chinese War. Some massacres going on um, where you know literally hundreds of thousands of people were just slaughtered, like in Nanking, and here uh, up in this area is um, early on. <clears throat> I recall that the. Uh, uh, Japanese, they there was a dam in this area, and, and they just blew up the dam, and they flooded this whole area and killed like 100,000 people. Just... All right, so again, er, kind of early on, you can see uh, some of the areas uh, that they came in and attacked. Uh, I think that's about it. Let me, uh... all right, so now we're getting on... Um... Getting into uh, Japan here, so down here in uh, Japan. I, I, this is a. There's a couple uh, of uh, my favorite spots uh, on the map. Uh, this being one of them, um, Japan. I, I didn't realize that uh, we were in their harbors, sinking their ships, um, as early as we were. But you can see, you know, we were um, got some light cruisers, heavy cruisers. A dreadnought, which is really a huge battleship, basically. Another dreadnought, 
cruisers, aircraft carriers, um, all the blue uh, submarine uh, activity, uh, the U.S. activity here. You can see they were sinking a ton of uh, ships, leaving their uh, ports, uh, trying to supply their war effort. So we're just sinking as much as we could there. All right, get down in Okinawa. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, the amount of uh, submarine activity on the U.S. side is like 1,900 or so that I documented. So it's pretty much everywhere on the, in the Pacific side. So here's a lot of, uh, once I get down into uh, the Philippines here, you can see a lot of Japanese ships were sunk here, cruisers. Um, just right here are four aircraft carriers. Here's a, two more aircraft carriers. Here's where the Indianapolis was sunk. Um, another Japanese aircraft carrier was sunk, light cruiser. Um, and all within the Philippines, you can see just, you know, look at all this uh, activity going on. Um, to include the, you know, I put the Bataan Death March here uh, with the, the final uh, place where they, uh, Camp O'Donnell. And then uh, you got a massacre going on in, in Manila. So that was like uh, a good 100,000 people that uh, the Japanese just slaughtered. A um, lot of Japanese ships were sunk here. An escort carrier, two escort carriers. Um, but a lot of Japanese ships sunk. There's a French uh, light cruiser. All right, keep on going down. Get into uh, the Money Islands here. Not much, just uh, a lot of submarine activity. And then we'll get into uh, Australia. Um, here you can see uh, this is where the Japanese, you know, they were sinking a lot of things here. But this is the uh, two U-boats uh, that, uh, you know, they got as far as over here to um, sinking some ships kind of go up I had to um, the Solomon Islands I, I I rebuilt this area just because there's so much activity going on that what the out-of-the-box map is just pretty much a blob so I broke it up um, recreating as I cut as I was working in Photoshop I got you know better and better with uh, matching uh, Sire Blood's uh, techniques on how he created islands or land and sea and things like that and so I here you can see uh, what there's five six seven eight uh, US ships sunk in this area um, you got a you got a bunch of uh, Japanese ships sunk here so spent a lot of time uh, kind of recreating this area I get up into uh, Caroline Islands. Same, just a lot of uh, submarine activity on the U.S. side. See here, some uh, Russian uh, submarines were sinking uh, some ships. Here's another uh, spot where I added more um, details on the map. I you know, staring at this thing for over a year and it just kind of bothered me that the, the out of the box, right, the game board didn't even have this uh, landmass here. So I went ahead and uh, recreated it. Didn't really, didn't affect gameplay, so I figured why not. All right, now we're going to get into uh, really the uh, the west coast of the U.S. I added uh, more Aleutian Islands uh, just because of the Japanese <laughs> landing on the on the Atu and Kiska, um, here you can start seeing you know, the Japanese submarines got as close. Uh, they did get they got pretty close to the west coast of the U.S. Um, and also start seeing uh, different callouts here. So uh, like Alamogordo, Los Alamos, and I think Hanford. Uh, those were three additional cities where they uh, developed uh, the big bomb. Uh, the triangles are where the war relocation centers are located. And 
I want to say like uh, the Fort Lawton and Bly, uh, where if you remember the uh, those balloons, uh, the Japanese flew over onto the West Coast, and then they would um, explode, and then uh, they were trying to cause uh, fires and things on the West Coast. So I think a couple things happened over here. So I noted those. And then I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, not much going on on this side other than, you know, I did document the uh, Pearl Harbor. So you can see these were the, you know, again, I only documented from cruiser, size-wise, cruisers and up. So here's a, a, the Arizona was a super dreadnought. You got the, uh, the battleship Oklahoma and uh, uh, the Utah was a dreadnought. So those were the big ships that were sunk. All right, so I think that's about it. Um, so <clears throat> here just uh, again to, uh, again, thank Sire Blood uh, for inspiring me to really learn a lot of new things uh, about history and Photoshop and, uh, and inspire me to once again get back into playing this game. So um, hope you enjoyed that, uh, the flyby. All right, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Hey, I wanted to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. And for those of you who don't know Sire Blood, I'm going to put his link to his channel in this video if you are interested in downloading his map. All right, y'all take care.